In this video, I'm gonna be upgrading my sliding table on my table saw. The new one is a lot bigger, the fence is longer, it's more accurate, especially when I'm changing the angle of the fence, and the stops are dramatically improved. So I can't wait to get the new sliding table installed and start making some more accurate cuts. So like on my table saw, Axminster partnered with Harvey uh, to make this product. Harvey's packaging is always pretty good. It's like opening an Apple product. So I'm looking forward to opening this box. So in the box, you've got the instructions. This sliding table looks so much cooler. It's got a really nice black color. And I'm gonna start taking all the boxes out. I don't know what's in them yet. It's really well packaged. I'm guessing this will be the fence. Oh, we've got a bag here. It's got a very nice Allen key set and a spanner. And here we have the sliding table. That is very heavy. And in the bottom of the box, we've got a metal bracket, a bag of nuts and bolts, and the extension table. I can already see that the extension table is a lot bigger than my old one. So I'm gonna get a lot more support when cutting larger pieces of wood. All right, so we'll take the stuff out of the packaging. In these boxes are the legs with adjustable feet on the end. And in this little box, you've got some feet extensions. So if your table saw is on a mobile wheelbase and it's raised off the ground a bit, these two blocks will extend your sliding table feet. And in this box, you've got the fence, which I can't wait to see. This is really well packaged. Everything in here is metal, even this locking knob is really high quality and solid aluminium. I'm blown away by the quality of this. Everything is so heavy, perfectly machined, solid aluminium. The coating on it is really nice. I wish I knew what it was. It's really smooth. And with this sliding table, it comes with two stops. My last one came with one. These are the type of stops you get on a 40,000 pound table saw. They're so chunky. It's got a fine adjuster on it. There is no flex at all. All right, so I'm gonna take my old sliding table off and let's get a new one installed. So before I mount it on the table saw, I'm gonna install these legs just so I have a bit more support. And these simply just go in a track on the bottom and then you tighten it by spinning the leg. So it's not at the right level yet, but those feet are definitely helping getting it in the rough position. I'm gonna get the bolts in, but just finger tight at the beginning. And you wanna make sure that the sliding table is slightly higher than the table saw table. The closest you can get it, the better, but it's gotta be higher, even if it's half a millimeter. Okay, time to attach the extension table. You've got these T-bolts that slide into this track. And you've got some locking nuts that you secure underneath. Now it's time for the fun part, to put the fence on. I'm gonna lock it down. So now I'll add the locking knob. Now this is a small extension table that is permanently mounted to the extending bit of the fence. So when you extend this fence out, you'll have a little rest for the end of your board to sit on. 
but during transport in the packaging, this extension table is flipped the other way around. So I need to undo this with a couple of bolts on the bottom and just flip it around. And to pull out the extending fence, you unlock these two knobs and you pull it out like that. There's a nice amount of friction there, so the fence is still very solid when it's fully extended. And it goes all the way to one and a half meters. Now to add the flip stops, you turn this knob to lock it in position. And there's a red marker here that runs along the ruler. And if you don't lock it in the perfect position, there's a fine adjuster knob here that turns two millimeters every revolution. So that is the sliding table fully set up. Now I think it's time to make some cuts and see how it performs. So that is the sliding table. I'm very happy with it. The build quality is outstanding. I thought the last sliding table was good, but this one knocks it out of the park. My favorite feature are the stops. The ones on the last sliding table, I didn't get along with. There was a bit too much flex and there wasn't a fine adjuster and they're a bit fiddly. These ones are very chunky. They've got a brilliant fine adjuster and this feature alone um, makes it all worth it. The sliding table runs smoother. It's also got a larger table, which gives me more support. The fence is longer, which means I can cut larger sheet material. And that also means that the ruler is longer. So now the scale goes up to 1.5 meters. Changing the angle of the fence has also been improved because the scale is a lot larger and you've got more indexing. Finally, whenever I do a tool unboxing, I always mention whether the tool has plastic knobs or handles. Everything on this sliding table is metal. Every fine adjuster, every locking knob, the stops, the rail, everything is metal. The knobs have nice knurling on it, so you get a lot of grip. And I think it's all been powder coated or something, so it feels really nice, very smooth. It's not gonna scratch your work. So I'm very excited to have this sliding table in the workshop now. I'm more confident that I'm gonna get accurate cuts with these new improved stops and the angle gauge. So thank you for sticking to the end of the video. I hope it was helpful. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I don't just upload unboxing videos. I have a lot of making videos on the channel as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a like if you did. Comment down below, I'd love to have a chat with you and I'll see you very soon for the next video.